when I first began therapy, um, I had a female civilian clinician. Uh, I was very resistant, and my opinion was that how could she understand? She had never been there, uh, had no point of reference. But over time, I realized that um, she didn't have to be there to care. She may never understand what I and others have been through, but she's not there to understand. She's there to teach a process, how to rethink something, reevaluate something, a tool or a skill to practice and rehearse as far as maybe a coping mechanism, a relaxation technique, a way to move through a moment or a trigger. Uh, that's her job. It's, her job's not to understand. And that was a big turning moment for me, not only understanding her role or putting it in perspective, but also understanding my role. A key part of therapy, treatment, whatever you want to call it, psychotherapy, <laughs> psychotherapy, that's a long word that just means training, education. Once I realized it was just training, that's something I can deal with as a soldier. I can handle training. I do a lot of training. I train others. And just that shift in mindset from broken therapy, treatment, kind of stigma, self-image, negative self-talk that comes out of that I'm broken to training, that's something I understand and can do, makes a huge difference. And any soldier, sailor, airman, marine out there knows about training. And you can all do training.